Kalapana, Hawaii, a town on the edge of destruction as lava from the Kilauea volcano flows through it. More than 50 homes destroyed in the past month. People watching as their life streams go up in flames. It's really hard because it's just like losing one of your family. Today, they're moving the star of the sea Roman Catholic Church to save it as the evacuation continues from under the volcano. We'll take you there live tonight. This is ABC News Nightline. Reporting from Washington, Ted Koppel. This is a story about what happens when legend and reality collide. Our program tonight is about a family, a town, and a volcano. But in Hawaii, it is difficult to discuss volcanoes without venturing into the realm of ancient gods and goddesses, most especially the goddess Pele. It may seem whimsical, even frivolous, to raise the name of a legendary goddess at a time when an all-too-real volcano is in the process of eliminating what has been for a very long time a real town. But as you will shortly see and hear, it all ties in. The town, Kalapana, is on the big island of Hawaii, and today it was sealed off. Many houses in Kalapana have already been destroyed, and the rest of the town is now directly threatened by a sea of molten lava from the Kilauea volcano. For several days now, Nightline producer Bob Ladun has been tracking the lava flow as it moved toward Kalapana. <laughs> We're on the, the lower slopes here of Kilauea Volcano, which is just one of the five volcanoes that makes up the island of Hawaii. This is how all of these islands are formed, are by eruptions just like this over millions of years. We've been evacuated, you know, four or five different times, but I think this time it's going to burn the family property here and home, and we might not be able to come back again. I been here all my life, you know, yeah. and have six children, or 15 grandchildren, and four great-grandchildren. This property here has been uh, in the Kalehuloa family for over a hundred years. I guess I would be very emotional. I mean, you know, crying and, you know. <laughs> but God helps you. Yeah, he gives us the strength to go on. The people here have always lived with active volcanoes, and it really is part of the traditional culture to expect that your land may be taken away by the volcano. This big black monster is coming. Uh, it keeps growing. Uh, you know, we all know we're going to be touched by it. What we try and do is predict where and when the lava, you know, will flow. This subdivision was originally entered by lava flows from Kupainaha in 1986. So the subdivision's really been living on borrowed time for the past three years. It's very hot. The surface temperatures can be as, as high as uh, three or 500 degrees centigrade. So you, you wouldn't be tempted to go very much further out there than we already are because of the heat. The lava started oozing over a low spot in the wall about 5.30. And uh, by 6 o'clock it was just pouring into the backyard. Just pouring in and uh, filled up most of the backyard, burned down the garage. We just arrived. I, it was... Completely stopped up there at the Red Cross, and they told us our house was it was getting you know it was, it had, it was getting it just starting. Now hey, you really hate to see it go. We haven't got too much insurance on it, but it's not enough that actually what uh, what we've got in it. It's really hard because it's just like losing your one of your family. <laughs> Oh! 
Ever since I was a little girl, I've been at this house, and it brings back a lot of memories, you know, a lot of good times. So seeing it get burnt down is going to hurt a lot. I know it's hurting my grandma. This is my grandfather's place, Charles Kaina. And my uncle used to be over on the other side, Uncle Sonny Kaina, my mother's brother. And up there, that's where my, all the graveyard is, the family graveyard. Pele is a fire goddess of, you know, the islands. And when she's angry or she, she doesn't like something, she'll, she'll cover the land in lava. This is Pele's land. Oh, it has been. This is not a man-made land. Never, never was. Never could be. We can build things on it. That's about it. When it first came over the wall, it moved pretty fast. I'd say within 10 minutes, it, it moved about 20 feet. I've never seen molten rock move so fast and coming right over the wall, just flowing like water. The way it's swelling and cracking, it looks like it's going to surge forward again soon. The garage is gone, and the house, I guess, will be next. Oh, 118 homes already. This is what we've been waiting for all day. The lava is just pushing it further into the yard. The car is pushing all the iron roof in front of it. I haven't seen a volcano like this close up. See, this is the first time right in the, in the doorstep. I never would dream that one day that there would be a lava floor right next to our house. I don't want this place to go because I grew up here all my life. I love it here. Now there goes the house. This is going to be real fast. Hello, <laughs> Aula na ko inoa o habai inei, e o mai o e iko.